Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's talk about solar electricity that you can use in your house. In fact, uh, just about uh, three, four days ago, I tweeted about it. We actually got a new solar plant installed. This is the on-grid one, 5 kVA. And I saw that that tweet got over 2,50,000 views on Twitter. Uh, and many of you are actually interested in knowing details about uh, this one. And uh, I will be posting a dedicated video later on, hopefully by next week, about the plant that we have actually installed we actually have two different kinds of plants so i just wanted to talk about what are these two different types of plants regarding solar electricity that you can put in your home and uh, earlier we actually had a off grid solution but now the latest one that we have put is a new 5 kva on grid solution and there's a lot of confusion a lot of people have about it so let's talk about it and first let's talk about uh, the off grid uh, system and uh, to make it very easy for you to understand think of it as a existing inverter system that you have okay uh, you have batteries also and it is being actually powered by the, your electricity board in a solar system uh, it is indirectly powered by uh, the solar panels so let me actually show you for example uh, this is that off-grid system and as you can see this is the grid that is means electricity board and you have your inverter over here and you have a bunch of batteries maybe two three whatever depending upon your capacity of your system we actually had a 2 kva one and again uh, so whenever like electricity goes off from here your inverter actually comes and it powers your home and it works very well uh, like this so instead of this one in a what do you say off grid system your solar panels will come over here in this area and they will power the inverter so indirectly we are replacing the grid that is charging your batteries with that and it's a hybrid system your existing electricity board will also be connected let's say there is no solar electricity generation uh, because it's too cloudy or it's raining continuously uh, then uh, uh, this will actually pull an electricity from your grid so uh, your solar panels will be powering it and it is also connected to your grid so it's a special type of inverter you uh, think for example let's say you're on uh, a regular inverter what you have we, this is a special solar inverter even it can connect to the solar panel so that is actually off-grid system and the advantage of this off-grid system is that you don't have to take any permission from the government or any approvals or anything you can put uh, but again it's like a typical inverter system you can't run your entire house on it technically you can but it can get very very expensive you know you have to clear plan out just like the inverter uh, so we actually had this uh, sort of a system it was a 2 kva system now it's almost five years old and we wanted to expand and we actually expanded now uh, what do you call with a new uh, on grid system what uh, this on grid system is that uh, here your solar plant is indirectly connected to the electricity grid and if you notice uh, electricity grid uh, uh, you always pull electricity from them that's how we consume but uh, with this on grid system uh, the solar electricity that uh, is being generated by your solar panels and when you're not using it it actually goes back to the electricity board so it's a two-way communication we have uh, so this is slightly different and in the system we simply do not have any batteries so uh, the advantage is that uh, you can run your entire house over it because uh, let's say you require uh, currently let's say 3000 watts of electricity and your solar panel is generating let's say just about 1500 watts it will use that 1500 watts but the rest of the power that is required that 1500 extra is pulled from the electricity grid so again you don't uh, have to worry about the capacity you can run your entire house for example uh, we have we have installed the new one 5 kva and we still get the electricity bill uh, because yeah that 5 kva is not enough for an entire house when everything is running but we don't have to worry because the extra electricity what we need is being pulled from the electricity board and uh, let me actually uh, unlock my computer i made some notes guys let me just get out of this so guys now let's look at the on-grid uh, system here we have as i've uh, told you we have a uh, your electricity connection over here and as i've told you we have two-way uh, movement because here is your solar panels that we have and uh, solar panels actually generate collect electricity in dc but we require ac hence again we have this inverter and uh, here again let's say you are consuming electricity directly give uh, the preference to the solar and it goes directly to your home but what happens is that let's say 
now your solar panel is generating let's say 2000 watts worth of two units of electricity but currently because it's the day nobody is there you are hardly consuming any electricity so as it does not have any batteries this excess electricity is actually sent back to the electricity department and we have a special new meter that's something you have to uh, they install a new meter which tracks all that so that is there the government guys have to install that and that uh, calculates everything how much electricity is being pulled in and being sent back so uh, it's a two-way connection that we have so you don't have to worry about the capacity as i told you you can even have a 2 kva uh, solar system to start off with and later on let's say if you are happy with it you can expand so you don't have to worry exactly how much you consume uh, that and your entire house can run whatever is required what is being generated will be used by your home and any excess if you have will go back to the electricity department that's why it's known as the on grid because it's linked to the electricity grid that you have um, again we don't have any batteries because we are not storing any electricity uh, in the off-grid system we actually had to store that electricity in batteries here you don't have that extra cost of the batteries because there are no batteries uh, there but uh, there is a problem with this system for example as I told you, it's connected to the electricity board. So uh, it's also sending back the electricity to the electricity board and not only pulling like what we do normally. So when there is no electricity from the electricity board, this system completely shuts down. So again, if power goes, your this on-grid system will also just shut off automatically. And you'll uh, ask me why. This is because of a safety reason. Because uh, let's say, the electrical line they have shut down to do some maintenance work if you are sending back this electricity they will be electrocuted so again the system automatically shut down so if there is no power from your electricity board the system will simply not work that's not the case with the off-grid system but i feel uh, in urban cities uh, and where you have uh, ample electricity no, not a lot of power cuts this on-grid system does make a lot more sense than the off-grid uh, system so this is the basic difference between a on-grid system and an off-grid off grid or you could say is like your inverter system that you have currently but you have solar panels that is actually charging your batteries that's the most simplest thing on grid we don't have that uh, we are directly just jumping uh, to the electricity board and the advantage is that we can pull in how much electricity we want we don't have to worry about let's say the demand the only electricity that is produced by our panels for example as i've told you let's say our panels are producing just about uh, Wow, 1500 watts worth of electricity and we need to pull in let's say 4000 watts because we are running an ac you can easily do that uh, with the on-grid system because we can pull in uh, the power from the electricity board but the con is that if the electricity board electricity goes off your solar uh, generation system will also just shut down automatically and i've got a, quite a few questions between on grid and off uh, grid uh, so uh, let me actually answer and uh, the first question that i got was uh, how much did it cost me for this new five kilowatt uh, on grid system that we have put just recently and uh, i would say uh, it actually the cost for the 5 kva system uh, was 1.8 lakhs uh, but again we had to spend uh, 20,000 extra because we went for elevated system because we wanted the space on our roof so that we can walk around so again, we had to pay 20,000 extra so it costed 2 lakh rupees and uh, this is again the price in Telangana because we got a subsidy of about 83,200 so actual cost would have been 2 lakh 83,000 but we got a subsidy of about 83,000 and in fact we got this installed uh, uh what do you say it's my uh, uh what sisters actually uh friends company uh the uh, off-grid system also what we had installed about five years ago was from them so we went with them it's a hyderabad based company i'll leave the link uh so again regarding the subsidy it will differ from state to state and these days many of these solar uh, providers are just giving you the basic cost that actually they take into account the subsidy so we didn't have to pay that total 2.83 lakhs we just paid the 2 lakhs they take care of that subsidy now next question uh, i uh, got from quite a few is that uh, let's say you're putting this uh, on grid uh, plant uh, can we expand the capacity maybe you're not comfortable right now you're just putting a 3 kva plant can we expand it uh, later on let's say after two years to add two more to total up for 5 kva 
definitely you can do that uh, most of these plants are modular in nature so you can expand the capacity if you have uh, roof space uh, again check with your installer uh, the capacity of the inverter also that also has to support because again if the capacity of the inverter is limited you might have to change the pva inverter also and uh, uh, uh another question that i got from you guys is what other costs that you have to uh, pay apart from the initial cost for the on-grid system technically uh i would say that is nothing because there is no recurring cost uh, and the life of the solar panels is about 25 years but uh, generally the warranty what uh, we get on the inverter and all those things uh, is about five years uh, you can take ad additional in uh, what do you say uh what you call that extended warranty also with these companies for seven or ten years for the inverter and other parts but uh, yeah there is no recurring cost i would say for the on-grid for the off-grid where we have that batteries there is certainly a recurring cost uh, these batteries actually last typically uh, for about uh, you could say five years and after that you might have to replace so that's a big recurring cost and now we have to actually replace our batteries which means slightly over five years so again that can be a huge cost depending upon your capacity so on grid generally we don't have any recurring cost but with off grid because your batteries after about five years will go bad uh, it will actually uh, you'll have to uh, replace those batteries so that's the recurring cost in that one uh, regarding subsidy again i want to make this very clear the subsidy as of now in india is only for residential if you are opting for business uh, or what a commercial i don't think so you'll get subsidies at least uh, in our state uh, now let me move to the next uh, question that you have uh, and this is the question i got the answer from the ceo of this company and asked them uh, how much electricity generation can a user expect with a solar plant and she told me uh, you can expect about four unit of electricity generation per kva for example for our plant it is about uh, it's a 5 kva so we should expect about 20 but we are getting about 22 uh, units per day again it will vary obviously in winters when the sun is not out that much you don't have that sunny uh, so it will go down but she told the average a person should look at is about four units per kva and uh, what uh, and uh, you might ask uh, how much time does it take to recoup your investment because indirectly you are saving on your electricity bill that's how you save money uh, with this for example you might be getting 6000 7000 bill but after putting this uh, plant maybe you might be getting a bill of about just 1500 rupees or something so uh, uh, as of now considering the current cost of the uh, wood plant it has come down drastically it will take you anywhere around 3 to about 3.5 years and this is after the subsidy um, and uh, some of you have asked, asked me can the entire house be uh, run on this uh, and as i've told you yes uh, if it's on grid system you don't have to worry your entire house can run because uh, if the solar panel is not producing the required power it will automatically start pulling that much power from the electricity grid and um, inverter batteries as i've told you if you are uh, going with that uh, off grid system where you have batteries typically five years but uh, they told that uh, now we are also seeing lithium ion batteries they are very expensive as of now it's not used in re residential areas but they can go up to 10 to 12 years but again nobody uses in re residential because it's very very expensive and solar panel uh, again 25 years but generally the other parts like the inverter etc are warranted for about five years and um, now the uh, new inverters and all these things have become actually very good they are uh, internet connected as you can see from these uh, screenshots this is for the 5 kva uh, on grid system that we have uh, uh, you have this on the inverter itself again we also have a smartphone app so just sitting from the home also you can know how much generation you are doing uh, so this was a brief uh, idea about uh, solar what is on grid system and off grid system think of off grid system as your existing inverter type stuff uh, the on grid is connected to the government uh, one small thing is that as this on grid system is connected to the government this happened with us they also need to change the electricity meter that you have because now this uh, new electricity meter has to keep track of both way the electricity not only what you are consuming from the government what you are sending back to the electricity board also so they have to change that uh, one and this is only done by the government official they'll come and inspect your system to make sure it is working fine and all this thing and then only they'll change the meter and 
uh, for us this took up almost about four months our plant was ready in february itself but just got activated in june so that can be a delay it might be because of the covid but this is also something you have to note uh in off-grid system again nothing you don't have to ask government or anything because it's just your own but on grid yeah you have to change that electricity meter and so again if, because of the government delays uh, the installation can get uh, delayed so i hope uh, this gives you a lot more information uh, i'll uh, leave the link of the firm from which we had uh, installed this one again next week i'll try to actually post a full dedicated video about our existing system and also show you our old uh, what do you say off grid system so again stay tuned to the channel and if you have uh, any specific questions about uh, solar power generation for your home etc uh, do leave uh, those questions in the description I I'll try to include those points in the uh, video that I'm planning to post next week. And guys, if you're still not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranji, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.